Shalom, shalom, everyone. Sunday Walker coming back on. It's been a while. It's been a few weeks, and I um, wasn't prepared to do this. I never am. And um, but guys, listen. I've spent the last month and a half in very, very fervent prayer over some deep, deep um, spiritual tech. Okay. And I want to thank you all so deeply, so dearly for the continued messages. And um, I know I've been sharing here and there um, just keeping on worshiping in spirit and spirit and truth to Father God through the Holy Spirit and praising and worshiping Yeshua, our Savior. And I've been worshiping in song of hymns and um, in posting some of that, I know. And then just seeking Him, you guys, seeking Him so diligently and so fervently because listen there's so much there's so much okay i have spent um the last three weeks not only being just flooded with spiritual attack listen but also just fighting that off with the mighty power of the spirit of god okay and um I knew today I wasn't done writing. I knew that what he's had me working on just in little snippets of, of messages that are that need to go out and just little things that in his timing people need to hear. And um, so those will go out when that's his time. Uh, warnings. Uh, messages for specific people. Um, but today, when I was in prayer, just seeking him, Lord Yeshua, I had some more time today than normal. And um, he had me sit down. I'm upstairs in my office. And he had me sit down. And literally, I heard from the Spirit. Open my word. <laughs> I opened the word. I opened my little, this is a book that my son had gotten me years ago, um, and I have written in it much, much goodness has gone in here, notes from the Holy Spirit, notes from, notes from the Lord God, and um, to the very page, you guys, that he's had me turn to, that needs to go out today, okay, first of all, I have missed y'all. <laughs> You, you've been faithful I'm still on the channel with comments and thank you so much for the prayer. Thank you for consistently um, praying and, and working for the kingdom. All of you that love Yeshua so deeply and, and love others that continue to lift one another up in prayer. And for the concerns of not seen me in the last few weeks guys and I know that I have commented a couple times saying that I was under spiritual attack and um it's real it's real and I know many of us are um I am I'm good I'm okay hallelujah the joy the joy of the Lord constantly continues to be restored in our souls and he brings us out of that but much to learn from that. And listen, there's many wolves out there. There's many false teachers, you guys. There's many people that they don't understand how to rightly divide the word of God. So they're confusing. They're bringing chaos. They're bringing confusion. And even to the elect, okay? Now, what the Father has promised is the elect... His people, they will never stay confused because you know why? We will seek him. We'll seek him. We will shoo those spirits, those spirits that are trying to tempt us with um, deception. Okay. I, I've had many people 
lately, recently, in the last three weeks as to why I have not been on here, you guys. I've, I've done my studying. I've, I've done my praying. I have rebuked Satan, rebuked spirits um, out of my thoughts, out of my heart, out of these people, um, bringing chaos. Okay. And some more of that will be in when I want to, when the Lord wants me to deliver when he does. But be aware. Okay, so listen. He guided me to this page. Okay. And you can see by the date on here. I wrote this, you guys, December 13, 2019. Never shared it with anyone. This is God's word. It's strictly his word. And you can find this in scripture. But this is where he has us today. Okay. And just know, you guys, I have never stopped praying for every single one of you. I love you. And you show his mighty name. X 17 guys, God is not detached from his creation. Read it. X 17. Someone needs to hear that. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. Okay. A healthy fear of God is a step to salvation. And that is found in Psalm 86 11. Okay. December 13, 2019, I wrote in my home, Yeshua, my Lord, says, be vigilant, stay awake. Acts chapter 1, 7 and 8. Never become drunk with worldliness or with wine. Always be spiritually ready for the Messiah. This is what he has had me write, write down. You can line this up with Acts 1, 8, 7 through 8. Um, but I, I do know that I have added, I have added to this. I just want you to be aware of that. This is the words he is telling me. And part of this is, is literally scripture. Um, but the warning in that, okay. He's saying never become drunk with worldliness or with wine. Always be spiritually ready for the Messiah. Have an urgency to spread the good news of salvation. Luke. 1245 these are some scriptures that I'm led to give you Matthew 24 13 and 14 Revelation 3 first King 18 verse 21 follow the true God or follow Baal stop wavering between two opinions amen Stop being tossed here and fro. Abide in me and I shall abide in you as husband and wife are one. And as the father and I are one, so shall you and I become one. And as if I was rereading this, that he had me speak this today, you guys, that just hit my heart. We are one with Yeshua, with our Messiah, you guys. Um, for as all of these are joined together, how then, if in all one accordance with each other, can only one separate? They cannot. Three explanations, he says. So just as you abide with me through my Ruach, through his spirit, you will never separate from my law. Your faith has joined you to me and your love is is in accordance to me, has, to my word, and I put this in parentheses, brought you to obedience. I'll read that again. Your faith has joined you to me, and your love in accordance to me has, in accordance to my word, was the parentheses, has brought you to obedience. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, he also, which is not written in here, said, <laughs> you guys, I'm to read um, 2 Corinthians chapter 7. Also point out 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and chapter 6, ambassadors for Messiah. Okay, read your word of God. Pray for understanding through the Holy Spirit. Always pray for understanding. You must test the spirits. You must, you must, you must. Okay? I learned that a long time ago. 
and it's a must okay now this is what he has had me read second corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 therefore since we have had these promises since we have these promises loved ones let us cleanse ourselves from all defilement of body and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of god okay he's talking about repentance here you guys i've had many things thrown at me um things like this like repentance is not in the bible um yeshua is not god um you know things about the sabbath listen we are stronger than any other spirit that is not the spirit of god these they come in all forms you guys they come in all forms um wolves in cheap clothing they come in you know just mere men okay people people in general um and even though it i know i know what the scripture says about these certain things that is not where the confusion lied at all but i do consider things that people say um and listen there's a lesson in that because we should consider it <laughs> to be loving and kind to one another and hear what they're saying and listen but then always back it up with truth always line it up with truth just just don't believe believe what spirit holy spirit from yahuwah yahuwah the true god shows us okay so always pray on it and test the spirits that is just a snippet of just things that we're going through so listen um I want this i'm supposed to read this as well and i just underlined this before i started this when i was in prayer what do you want me to read yahuwah okay so that was chapter 7 verse 1 this is chapter 7 read the whole chapter i always urge you to read the whole chapter but he pointed out um chapter 7 again verse 9 um, and of course this is um speaking on repentance and he's speaking to uh the church of corinthians and they are he's rejoicing with them when they surrender their soul when they repent so that they may to be saved out of this world and into eternal life one day so this is verse 9, chapter 7, 2 Corinthians. Um, now I rejoice, not that you were grieved, but that you were grieved to the point of repentance. We must hate the sin within us, you guys. For you were grieved according to God's will.